One of the longest running social media platforms that's still going strong is Reddit. And so today we're going to be taking a look at everything you need to know to jump into Reddit and start using it just like a pro. So let's take a look. So today we're going to be looking at the desktop web version. You can also get this as an app and you can log in and sync up your account so everything stays the same. But And so all you need to do is head over to reddit.com and it'll take you to this main page here. Okay. And if you're not logged in, which I am not right now, you'll see this is just sort of the general feed showing trending and popular posts. And this is all based on the upvote and downvote system, which I'll talk more about a little bit later. Now, at the very top of the page, you'll see here some sort of trending topics. And then below that, you'll see the popular posts. And, and much like any other social media platform, you can just kind of scroll through and see what all is available there. And then over on the side panel, you'll see you've got your home tab, which would, you know, if we're logged in, it would be specific to you. We're looking at the popular tab. And then this is something new. You can ask Reddit questions and have people post on that and answer some of your questions, which is something that's, that's kind of brand new here. And then there's also topics. So you can filter by, you know, let's say you're into games and you want to look at adventure games, right? And then it'll sort of filter those topics that way. And then they have some resources down here and some other elements. Now, one of the things that's important to keep in mind is that how Reddit is sort of structured. So each post belongs to a subreddit, and that's a specific community focused on a topic. And these subreddits are where all the content lives. So you'll see up here, you'll see that r slash Pokemon Go. That's the subreddit. That's where all of this is at. Now you have the option to click on that and go directly to that subreddit. So you can see that everything that is within that. And you can also join that or create a post. Now, when you click on join, it's going to have you sign up in order to do that. So if you're just looking at Reddit and just kind of scrolling through and seeing those topics, you don't need to be logged in. But once you get to the point where you are posting, it's going to ask you to sign in. So I'm just going to sign in with my Google account. And this is all absolutely free. So it's not something that you would have to pay for. And now you see that once I've logged in, there are some communities that I have been a part of or have, have joined, which there's some Batman stuff and some Batman Beyond and comic books and noir and things like that. So these are my communities that I am involved with. OK, so and then when we go back to home, now that we're logged in, you'll see my feed now is this subreddit, Batman slash comics. You can see there's Batman Beyond, which is catered to me. Now I can still click on popular, and that will look just like it looked when we weren't signed in. This is, this is just sort of the popular things that are trending on Reddit at the time, okay? Now, the, the way that this works, so I'm gonna go back to my home page here, is Reddit is based on the upvote and downvote system. So the more upvotes something gets, which is like saying thumbs up or you like that, the higher it's going to be on the feed of other people. And then reversely, if you downvote something, it'll fall further in the list. So like, here's a picture, who can beat Batman? We have this picture here and we could do the standard stuff. We could comment on that. We could share it with somebody. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upvote that. So you see that becomes a 10. So now this becomes boosted even more. More people are likely to see that. This one has 731 upvotes. I'm gonna upvote that again, it becomes 732. Now, same time, somebody else could downvote that. So that's sort of the fundamental of how Reddit works is it's all based on popularity. And like any social media platform, the more subreddits that you follow or communities that you join that you're interested in, the more your feed will be catered to that. So up at the top, you have this search bar and you can go, you know, I've been into jigsaw puzzles lately. And you can see, you can find individual posts here. You can find communities, which again, these are the subreddits, right? So you find one, you can see a little description of what that's about. You can see how many people are members, how many people are online at the time. You know, if you want to find a popular group to be involved in at the time. So I'm just going to click on that and we'll go join. And you can see now I'm part of this group now. And so I can comment on it. I can upvote things. And as you start 
following more subreddits and interacting with upvoting and commenting, it'll start learning what you're interested at. And Reddit will start recommending you more posts and more communities that are fit to your interests, okay? Now, if you want to post something on Reddit and have your own post that gets upvotes and downvotes, you'll need to be inside of a subreddit. You can't post from the homepage. You need to post directly from a subreddit. So let me find a subreddit here. So let's go to the Film Noir Reddit. You click on Create Post, and you can add the title of the post, the body of the text. You can add images. You can add links. Ask me anything. Fill in all the information that you want to put in there. Hit post, and then it's up there for everybody to be able to upvote and comment and respond to. And like any social media platform, you, the more you put out there, the more that you respond and engage with others, the more that you'll get out of it. This isn't something that you just want to try to post something and, and forget about it, but it's, it's really about the community and about those subreddits to find like-minded people to discuss and share your, your thoughts and ideas with. Um, the other thing to keep in mind is that each subreddit has their own rules and it's moderated by other individuals that will set their own rules. So some of them have strict guidelines about advertising or selling products or uh, just promoting your own services, things like that may require you to not post certain links, things like that. And you can always find when you're looking at the subreddit, you can find the rules all here. And a lot of them are pretty standard. Usually, you know, respect your fellow gumshoes, low effort posts, ain't nothing, kid, you know, keep it on the narrow, keep mischief making to a minimum. You know, and this was kind of themed around the film noir, which I, which I kind of like. Things like that, that you just want to sort of keep in mind and be respectful of the rules because there are moderators that moderate these subreddits. And if you are continually breaking the rules or not following their guidelines, they do have the option to, to kick you out. So that's just something to keep in mind. Now, something else that's kind of neat that they've rolled out here in Reddit is this give awards button. And so when you click on that, it has sort of an award system where, and keep in mind, some of these awards might cost Reddit coins, which you have to purchase with, with real money. But you'll see you can give these certain awards here for people that are really doing something well. And so this is sort of like an extra level of not just upvoting something, but going, you can give these like praying hands or a little, what is that, a cute seal? some hands, some popcorn, you know, so you got like, you just show a little extra love. But again, keep in mind that that does cost real money to be able to do that. Now let's talk a little bit about karma. Karma is something that Reddit uses to measure how much you contribute to the community. Okay. So you, you can earn karma by getting upvotes on your posts or getting comments, things like that. So the more useful and engaging your posts are, the more karma you get back, which is you know how karma works, right? So it's sort of an incentive to really not just be spamming posts or just throwing a bunch of stuff out there, but to really putting quality and time and effort into your posts and Reddit rewards you for that. And it comes into play because some subreddits will not allow you to post if you're a new user or don't have a lot of karma. So you need to find the right communities. And so you sort of earn more points, more karma, more rewards, the more that you engage and, and give back to the Reddit communities, the more you get back in return. And so once you have a few communities that you're following and subreddits and you're interacting and you're earning karma and you're upvoting other people's posts, you're off to the races and really engaged in a very fun and very addictive and very enjoyable social media platform with Reddit. I hope this video helped you out and I'll see you in the next one.